Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with Amy Makes That. If you are new here and you don't know who I am, my name is Amy and all of my content is related to Cricut things, whether it's DIY projects, some digital tutorials such as Cricut Design Space and font tutorials, and also some Cricut craft business tips as well for some newbies that want to start their own business. So if you're interested in that kind of content, please don't be shy and give this video a thumbs up and also click my subscribe button. So now that we got that out of the way, Today's video is going to be on 11 Cricut tips that I have learned from TikTok. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I've had a few TikToks gone viral and I'm very unhealthily addicted to TikTok. There are so many things that I learned. I think you guys will really appreciate this video. And also as a disclaimer, I did in fact reach out to each account. So everything you see here is approved by the person that posted that TikTok. I just wanted to give a huge thank you to each and every one of the content creators that did approve and had no problem with putting their clip in this video. The usernames will be included in the video and in the video description with the link from that exact TikTok. So if you wanted to check out their account, you can. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to be here and I'm going to be popping up all of the videos to the left or right of me, whatever is best. The first tip is from at mama bear underscore resin. So usually when you cut adhesive of vinyl, any permanent vinyl such as Starcraft, um, Oracle 651, 631, you usually want to cut it on the vinyl setting on the Cricut. This woman said instead you can cut it on the iron-on setting or the HTV setting. So I was like, no way is this gonna work. It's probably gonna overcut. It made the vinyl so much easier to weed. So, and I've been doing it ever since. And also the second tip that I have is very similar, but it's cutting it on the premium vinyl setting. This tip is from Signs by Sierra. So again, I did both on the same one. So the top I think was the premium vinyl setting and then the bottom was the iron on setting. Again, you could see that they both weeded perfectly and I definitely recommend both either iron on or premium vinyl setting for a regular adhesive vinyl. Now this third tip is something that I really wanted to include in my stickers video and I think a lot of you will appreciate this tip. I will put them here to check them out and it's going to be so helpful for all of you that have sticker businesses as well or if you just like to make a bunch of stickers for your friends. When you want to print out stickers and say you're making about like 20 or so, Cricut automatically populates a certain amount of stickers to a sheet. So you'll see here that I tried it with my Good Vibes sticker, which again is in my stickers part two video if you do want to check that out. But you will create a rectangle on Cricut Design Space and the measurement for that is going to be 6.75 width by 9.25 height. And then you will duplicate those stickers and adjust them to that rectangle. I think it only added like five stickers, but it made such a difference. And especially if you're trying to make a certain amount of stickers, you want to use all of that label paper to the best of your ability. So this trick was definitely very, very helpful. Again, this is by Skylar Grace Co. Okay, tip number four was something that I could not fathom and I could not believe. Like you'll hear the audio when I show you in a little bit. This tip is by Kimberly Nelms 85 When you have a very detailed design, instead of taking the weeding tool and weeding each one individually, what you do is you simply rip it off like a band-aid. And I'll show you right now, it worked phenomenally. What? No freaking way. I think I had to weed two little areas at the end of it because it didn't rip up the little insides of the cheetah. So much time was wasted by me weeding that. Definitely try ripping off that vinyl like a band-aid versus weeding it with your weeding tool. Such a good hack. So these next two tips are going to be related to weeding. I didn't give credit to anyone on this. I kind of learned this myself and I've seen this all over TikTok as well. So the first one, I did show this in my acrylic milk carton video, which is reverse weeding. So for the butterflies, it was very, very tedious to weed the inside of like the little butterfly wings and whatnot. I took some painter's tape and I went across the part that I needed to weed and I simply removed that with the painter's tape instead of using the weeder tool. The second one I did again see all over TikTok. I don't have one specific person that I can give credit to, but this is also another method of reverse weeding. So what you'll do is when the Cricut cuts the design, you won't remove 
remove the vinyl from the mat yet. Or you can remove the vinyl, but what you do is you don't weed. You apply transfer tape immediately to that design, so without weeding, and then you will flip that over, weed that way. This was such a game changer, because you forget that you have to automatically put the transfer tape on anyway. Again, those are some weeding tips for you guys, so definitely try them, because they are game changers. Now we're on number six, which is from someone that I used to watch a lot when I was making doormats. She is at Andrea Lee Designs. This made such a huge difference in my business, and I did actually mention this in my doormat video. If you are someone that makes doormats, or if you don't like transfer tape or contact paper when you're working with adhesive vinyl, this is a good tip, which is instead of using contact paper or transfer tape, you will use Glad Press and Seal. And this can be found in your local grocery store. You could find it on Amazon. I will put the link in the video description for you to check it out. It was such a pain to apply transfer tape to a doormat and then remove it and apply it to the doormat. It is a very, like if you've made doormats, you will understand that it's, it is a very tedious process, but Glad Press and Seal made that process so much faster and so much easier. So thank you, Andrea, for teaching me that. And also for for painting wise, if you again are someone that makes door mats, you don't have to dip your paintbrush into the paint jar. Put a bunch of paint into a squeegee bottle. So this is something again that I learned from her and it makes the time just go by so much faster. Anything to cut the time will help a lot and it'll make a difference. Now we're on number seven, which is from Side of Sass Designs and it is on previewing your fonts. On Cricut Design Space, unfortunately they don't have this feature where if you type out a word like hello or something, you have to choose each font individually to see what it looks like with that font. This website, wordmark.it, you could create an account, it is free by the way, and you will download the Google Chrome browser plugin, I think it is, and it will automatically add your fonts into that website, and that way you can type in a word like hello or whatever the last name is, and preview what it's gonna look like in all of these fonts. I'm only making YouTube videos, so it's not really that helpful for me, but it is definitely very useful for those that are creating designs and whatnot like on a daily basis. So definitely check out wordmark.it. Again, that will be in the video description below as well. So I lied before, I have two more weeding hacks, but this is not so much weeding the vinyl, it's more so helping you out when removing the little pieces. Number eight is from Because I Said So Creations. And did you know that your Cricut weeding tool can pop off? No. I did not either. Something new we learn every single day. You can't really rip it off, you have to wiggle it off a bit, but what you can do is take that off, flip it upside down, and then as you're weeding, hold that and put the little pieces in that little top part. Like, who knew that was a thing? Thank you for that tip as well. And then number nine, which again, I don't have a specific person that I can credit this to, but I've again seen this in YouTube videos, I've seen this in TikToks as well, and it is a nail polish holder for weeding. Technically, I think it's for, like, you could put it on your finger fingers when you are painting your nails and you could hold your nail polish in there, but you just wear this little guy like a ring. I have my engagement and wedding band on my ring finger and then I also have this new yellow weeding tool on my, I think it's, it's for two, so I put it on my pointer and my middle finger. Why have one ring when you can have two rings? It comes in a bunch of different colors, it's on Amazon. Again, this will be linked in the video description below so you can check it out. There's like, I think they come in like purple, green, yellow, red, all those fun colors. I picked yellow because of course it's one of my favorite colors. Okay, so number 10 is from Izzy Creations 2012. Say you have a design like cardstock or anything and you have to remove the design from the mat. Sometimes what will happen is you'll have a lot of leftover pieces on the mat. I would typically use the little flipper tool or I'll use like my scraper tool and just scrape that off, but it takes a long time. What you can do instead is use a lint roller and just lint roll the entire mat. Again, who knew these things? So definitely use a lint roller when cleaning your mat. Saved a really good tip for the last one, number 11, which is by Mama Made Custom Tees. And did you know that you can remove HTV vinyl? You can take the back of an iron, I flipped it over, put it inside the shirt. I like awkwardly turned around to like press the on button. And I think I put it on for 300 degrees. I had my lovely Pogue style t-shirt, RIP to my shop. Take your weeding tool and remove the vinyl. It 
it comes off so easily. Um, it does leave like a glue residue on the back of it. I did hear that acetone also removes vinyl as well. I don't know if it removes like the glue part, but you can see it's a little bit shiny. So I do suggest if you are using this hack to maybe put a bigger design on it so you don't really see it. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed each and every TikTok hack that I learned. Please comment which one is your favorite and if you knew all of them, if you didn't know any of them, um, I'd love to hear your opinions on them. All of the credits will be linked in the video description um, to each and every account and their original links to those TikToks. And as well as the items that I mentioned like the nail polish holder and like the Glad Press and Seal, that will also be linked in the video description below so you can shop and buy them for yourself. Thank you again for watching this video. I will see everyone in the next one. Bye! I be thinking it ain't right if you and me Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside